So, with image generation taking flight, in the past few weeks we've seen some impressive visuals for Skydome generation. And with Blockit Lab having champion in this with their Skybox 2, which with its recent installment allows creators to sketch an entire new world and with a single prompt convert their sketches to Skyboxes with a whole new palette of tools that allows anyone become architects of their dreams by creating impressive indoor, outdoor, nature and landscapes with AI. And with the growth of game development and game developers looking for more and more resources to help them create faster, today we have something that is pretty interesting. As Blockade AI is a beautiful tool, this in itself is now contributing to become a basic part of the whole piece. Because the folks at Illum9 Works have just announced an experimental AI playground platform called Lumine AI. Known for their fantastic concept art for the interactive digital entertainment sector, Illum9 Works have built this platform with a simple idea give artists and game developers an opportunity to create impressive visuals and use these as world building bases. So, for anyone who likes to explore with these and probably you like to take a look at these, then you can simply go over to the link in the description that will bring you right here where you can check it. At this point, they have a highlighted AI app which is called Instaverse. Now, how this works is super easy. If you click on play, it will take you over to a brand new page where you have to register and from there you can start exploring creating AI maps with it. It has a whole 360 set of tools that you can either hide and reveal and you can use these to travel across the sample sets that are available. And if you like to generate yours, you simply enter the prompt, select the style that you want and hit on generate. Now once you hit on generate, give it a couple of minutes and this will generate a 3D map for you. All of these maps that it has generated, they do have depth. The beautiful thing about this is you'll be able to download it at the end of the day. And in terms of downloading, you're not only downloading the texture and the depth map, you would also be able to download the 3D mesh. So just in case you've been thinking, how do you actually apply this? You can download the 3D mesh, the texture, and also the depth map. And you can go to tools like Blender or any other DCC app. And for game engine creators, you can go over to Unity and Unreal Engine or even Godot and you can throw that right in there and have this thing going. And to better explain how this works, let's take a look at the demos. So if you scroll all the way down, you're going to notice that we have a few playable demos. And like we mentioned before, this is being powered by Blockhead Labs and we've actually talked about them in previous videos. So just in case you would like to catch up with that, then you can go ahead and do it. So we're going to start off with the Metaverse Explorer. So we've actually taken the liberty of opening this before so you can see what we have. I'm just going to go ahead and scroll through a few of the worlds that are available. So all of these are AI generated worlds and they've also given us a character that we can play with. This is currently running based off Unity. And if you see, we can move our character to certain points. So you can see we have like colliders right there. And if we move over to this point, you can also see that. But this might not even be as interesting as this. And this might actually not be as interesting as this one. Now, what I'm showing you guys this is so you can go ahead and explore, play with it, because this is wild. So I'm just simply going to use the mouse and roll over. And I would like you guys to notice that we have lands extending all the way to that part and lands extending all the way to this part. Now, what this does is you can literally run towards those parts. Remember, this map is AI generated and they have found a way to make these 3D scenes that your character can actually run on. So you can see what we have here. We can make our character jump. We can jump over to this point. Of course, the map seems to be a bit low poly but this is what it is and like i mentioned earlier this is definitely going to serve as basics for world building of course in most games once the map hasn't loaded this is what you get and it wouldn't be bad to actually get started with testing your games like this you can proceed to explore all of these other ones they are pretty interesting scenes that they have here very interesting ones you can explore them and uh, see what you can get now the next one that they have here is more like a 360 interactive experience. All you need to do is generate that scene and you can now put hotspots. Now within the hotspots, whoever that is putting on the VR headset can actually tap and go over to that next scene and you can explore those scenes. So if you're thinking about building 360 explorations or VR scenes, this is actually something that looks pretty cool and we can click on activate the generator. You can return back to the original room and you will notice that the generator is active. So if you're into VR interactive media, then this also has a place for you. One other one, which is also very interesting is the Wonderkind demo, which I believe is more of a storytelling tool. 
So the WonderKind demo just simply shows you how you can create interactive stories. This is going to be a great fit for those making interactive media. Possibly if you're making tutorials and you need to make some narration and you have those narration playing in the background in audio form and you're putting up the text and probably you want to give like a three dimensional image to actually get going, then this is a perfect fit. At some point you can actually tell, you can see the depth that this sort of creates and of course you can use this to tell some engaging stories. Now, there is one more demo which is not included on the website which I think you guys may definitely want to explore. This is more like the first demo which we looked at and you can find these on itch.io. It is also experimental and it has a few quirks here and there just in case you like to explore it. So for this particular one, your character can fly through space. You can see what the projection looks like. So you can have your character fly through, you can explore this one yourself because our character seems to be flying faster than the camera is catching up with it. Now one thing which I'll suggest if you're exploring this, please don't press the space bar because it just elevates your character all the way up. You know, you can't really catch up with every other thing happening with this. So currently, all of these are being tested and they are still in their early, early phase. I think from here, things will just get better. And for game developers and game artists trying to create landscapes or probably trying to create skyboxes, this might come in extremely handy. So this is it. Links to all of this is going to be in the description for those who like to take a look at it. And of course, if you like this video or you learned something from this, you can go ahead and give a like and don't forget to share with a friend. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.